Hello my Cancers, welcome to Alchemist Tarot, serving Tarot Straight Up. Welcome to your November monthly reading. Um, these are late, so I'm gonna, I apologize. I know, um, I'm filming on November 7th, Saturday, so my apologies, these are late. So I'm going to pull a card for overall energy, advice, and um, actions, maybe obstacles that you might face, a card for each week, even though I know the first week is almost pretty much done. A uh, card for money, career, and even love. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay. Here. All right. Let's put these cards in order. All right, so Cancers, you know, out of the gate, you guys got Knight, Knight of Wands, which is fast forward moving energy and usually indicates the yes card. So, you know, if you've been waiting on, you know, uh, an employer getting back to you or even a raise or a promotion or a merit increase, maybe you've been waiting for, to get approved for some money to come in, um, you know, this is about you having a lot of drive and ambition and, and wanting to push forward. But this can mean yes if you've been waiting on some news and things have, have been a little bit slow as of late, especially with Mercury Retrograde, which we're almost, we're pretty much out of. Um, I would say by uh, mid next week, you're gonna see the energy a lot lighter, okay? So I would say here, if I can keep my cards and not have them flipped all the way over, sorry about that. When it comes to actions and advice, you guys got King of Pentacles. So very stable earth energy. You know, this month, this is all about keeping a balance between heart and head, okay? The King of Pentacles is very, very stable, very rational, very logical, and very even keel. Doesn't get their feathers shaken very easily. So if you start to feel flustered or stressed, or if you find yourself wanting to react not necessarily respond, take a step back and take some deep breaths because this month is going to serve you better to keep a calm and logical and rational mindset, okay? And approach things in a very grounded manner. Now, you could, and I'm saying this is important because the obstacles that you might face this month, Cancer, it could be a little combative and not necessarily that, you know, it could just be people poking your chain or they're trying to get your, a reaction from you or they're trying to see how you're going to respond and because, you know, cancers, you can be passionate when you're, when you're frustrated <laughs> or you can be, you know, you can come off a little bit um, hot and cold sometimes and people don't always know what you're going to say. But what I will tell you is that if people are trying to pull your energy or get you out of a real calm mindset, I would say just walk away or cut that energy out because like I said, it's really crucial this month that you respond and not react, okay? Again, it's not about leading with with too much emotion. It's having that, you know, having that middle ground, that balance. So I'm going to skip the first week because um, it's pretty much over. Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, King of Cups for the second week. This is about you getting excited or, or passionate about whether it's work or a project or even um, some volunteer opportunities or an event that you get to participate in or, you know, looking forward to maybe if you're going back to school or, you know, um, getting more education and uh, certificates around, you know, your expertise, whatever the case is, maybe you're teaching. All I can tell you is whatever's coming up, you're starting to get really excited about. And this is something that really pulls your heartstrings that you find value. So it's almost like whatever you're participating in, you get instant gratification because you're helping others, okay? Third week, now Five of Cups is definitely better in the reverse than maybe in the upright, but I would say you're starting to realize that, you know, any type of disappointments, past disappointments, losses that, you know, didn't come to fruition, there's a rhyme and reason and you're starting to see, you know, with hindsight, you do get a better understanding that 
because those things didn't work out, it's actually aligned you to some other things that are better suited for you. So you're starting to see the bigger picture. Six of Swords. Now, what I can tell you, mentally, I think that, I'm saying mentally because Swords is, is you know, mental communication, cerebral, um, it's air energy. I think for you, it's about keeping a very positive mindset to know that, you know, there's always going to be things that are thrown at you in life, but it's how you react to them and how you focus. It's, you know, we all go through storms, right? So they're not going to last forever. It's about, you know, focusing on the end goal, being flexible on the journey. But this six of swords is, you know, you might have, you might be a little bit in your head this last week of the month. You might be focused on a lot of different things. What I would tell you is try to prioritize. Um, don't get overwhelmed because you have all this stuff being thrown at you. Prioritize it, break it apart, and and you know work with what you can step by step. Okay. And if you can hear background noise, oh, my apologies. My dogs wanted to be in here for your reading, so I'm trying to keep them quiet. <laughs> Now, when it comes to money, you got the hanged man. I, I would say that money, it, this is very much a neutral energy. It's not that money is bad or, or necessarily good this month. It's kind of just more, first of all, money is energy, by the way. It's not bad or good. It's energy. But I think this is taking the time to kind of re look at your finances and kind of figure out, okay, well, how do I set myself up financially? How do I invest better? You know, it's also having a, a higher level understanding and seeing money differently, more as it's a tool and how it can work for you and not feel like you're always working for money, okay? Career, I think you guys, many of you are, are have put your, your nose to the grindstone and either feel overworked or you've been trying to get a ton of stuff done before we hit into these holiday months where a lot of people are taking, you know, personal time off. So I think there has been a really strong effort or almost like a race to get a lot of work done at, um, on, on the career front. Um, if many of you have been looking for work, you know, you've been, it's almost sometimes a full-time job to find a job. But what I can tell you is that, you know, with the four of swords, this is about resting your mind, resting your body, resting your soul. So if your body is tired and if you feel tired, take a break. You know, you tell yourself, okay, I sent 10 applications today. I need to take a break. You know, or if you've been out of job working, you know, day in and day out, clock out at 530 or take a lunch. Listen to your body. Give your body breaks and rest. Hierophant around love. Okay, so, you know, here's the thing. Hierophant, for some of you, and I do feel like if you are in a relationship, um, you might have a hard time overcoming maybe people's expectations of you and what, you know, whether it's social values or status or religious beliefs, whatever the case is, I think you're having a hard time living up to other people's expectations on who you should be with or who you should be married with to or who you should be dating, you know, that type of thing. And if you're single, you know, I think that it's also going against what maybe you were traditionally brought up as. I think you're starting to go against the grain. In relationships, you know, at the end of the day, as long as you're happy with your partner, who cares, right? So it's you pushing back and saying, this is what makes me happy and this is who makes me happy. So if it doesn't you know, fit into your perfect ideal image of who I'm supposed to end up with, that's not my problem. It sounds like it's a you problem. So um, cancers, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters, right? It looks like you have a lot going on this month. So again, take the breaks when you need them and you know, keep pushing forward step by step. Cancers, have a wonderful rest of the November month. Um, if you are interested in purchasing a reading from me, please go to my website. The link is in the bio. All the information is there. Please follow me on TikTok and Instagram because obviously I pull cards and go live. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe so you can be first to know when more videos pop up. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next month.